Yes, yeah, Steve, that's right. Barb Walsh has been in this fight for nearly two years now, traveling across the state to spread awareness of the dangers of fentanyl and the life-saving potential of naloxon, also known as Narcan. As you mentioned, she says her daughter Sophia died uh, nearly uh, three years ago now after accidentally ingesting that powerful narcotic back in August of 2021, and now she's vowing not to stop until naloxone or Narcan is in every school in the state. The more we say fentanyl out loud, without shame, the more people understand that anybody could die. Carrie mom Barb Walsh's fight against fentanyl is as personal as it gets. I thought I was a pretty good parent, but apparently I wasn't good enough. Barb's daughter Sophia died nearly three years ago while off at college after drinking from a water bottle that had the dangerous opioid mixed into it. She's made it her mission through her organization, the Fentanyl Victims Network of North Carolina, to not only support families like hers, but promote the life-saving medicine naloxone, also known as Narcan. I have a fire extinguisher in my kitchen, just in case I have a fire. Not because I want one. Naloxone is the same thing. Back in December, Barb urged the Wake County School Board to consider requiring naloxone be put into schools countywide. Today, that's exactly what they did, approving a policy that could bring the medicine to schools soon. We don't know where the threat is going to come from, but if we have a tool that can save a life, particularly one of our students' lives, we want to do everything we can to take those steps. According to state health statistics, naloxone was used for suspected overdoses 21 times on school grounds statewide last year. Barb says it's not worth waiting. It may not have happened in North Carolina yet, but someone's going to die because naloxone wasn't in school. And is that a risk they want to take? While there's work to be done, only about 20 percent of North Carolina's public school districts have naloxone policies. The significance of Tuesday's decision isn't lost on Barb. It doesn't take an army. It doesn't take a lobbyist. It takes a mom who's lost a child to stand in front of the school board to make this happen. And that's significant. As far as the funding for this policy, that's not exactly clear yet. Board Chair Haggerty says they'll be targeting possible state and federal funds in addition to county funding from the superintendent's budget. This will come before the school board in May. If passed, the policy could take effect as early as the 2024-25 school year. Steve?